Hello everyone and welcome back. As promised yesterday, we are back at Jolly Rogers Lagoon and we are in the Temple of the Fishes. Now this might not be the most exciting world in the game, but it does have a couple of the hardest challenges. First one being the Temple of the Fishes. Hello there, I'm Chris. Not very pig-like. Actually, it's crispy bacon. Crispy bacon. Anyways, we gotta defend this guy while he takes some pictures underwater. Because he gets attacked by sharks. And we are gonna try it with just 25 grenade eggs. Which means we have to conserve them. There is a cheat in this game where you can double the number of eggs that you can hold so we can actually get 50 grenade eggs. But uh, for this particular challenge, if we're very careful, we might be able to do it with 25. Okay, here come the sharks. Somewhere. There it is. See, we missed already best way to beat these guys is to shoot in front of them and even if you're way in front of them usually the uh, concussion will kill the shark See, but we're taking too many shots here I can't afford to take two shots for every shark that's exactly what I'm doing come on where are they Ooh, that one almost got him. There's a shark like right next to the cage. Alright, we got that one. Uh, I shot twice on that one. I didn't have to. Alright, only one egg left. Uh, I ran out of eggs. Oh, good. We did it. Just, just enough. Glad we don't have to do that again. Yeah, the boss in this game is extremely hard to beat with 25 eggs also. So I am actually going to wait until I get all my Cheeto pages with the double eggs. And also, uh, there's another cheat called Honeyback. Where no matter how many times you get hurt, your uh, health slowly comes back again. So I will wait till I get all my cheats before I take on the boss. But there's still plenty of other jiggies in this level, so... Let's go, uh... Here's a jiggy right there inside that invisible fish. You see it up at the top? We actually are going to learn a move where we can get that. We have to go find jam jars. Get away from these silly fishes that are trying to kill us. Okay, this is the, I believe, the electric eel's lair. Where we will see jam jars and learn how to use Kazooie as a torpedo. He's going to teach us the Talon Torpedo. So you remember when we went by that uh, spaceship, the UFO? and it had a picture of Kazooie on the front of it. That is one example of where you can use the Talon Torpedo to break down a door to get into a, a hidden area. And you can also hit those invisible fishes with the Talon Torpedo to get what's inside of them. Yeah, 
Yeah, see that building way over there? There's a picture of Kazooie on the front. We could use the talent torpedo to get in there, but we're not going to because uh, that is the ancient swimming baths. And the only thing that's in there is a Cheeto page. And we need a move to get it that we're not going to learn for quite a while. We need to learn how to glide in order to get the Cheeto page. But we can visit the Seaweed Sanctum. And of course, these things are trying to kill us, but they're pretty slow. So we'll blow right by them. Okay, not much in the Seaweed Sanctum. In fact, it looks so boring that it makes you believe there's absolutely nothing in here that's of any use. But if you look closely, there is a Jinjo in the far corner. And we always need Jinjos. So there's your exit door, but we don't want to exit yet. We want to get our Jinjo first. We'll help you, Jinjo. Don't panic. Okay, let's restock on grenade eggs. Because this level, you need as many grenade eggs as you can get. Okay, I see another invisible fish down there, and he's got a honeycomb, so let's see if we can use this Talon Torpedo move. Not easy to control. Nope, I missed it. You gotta kinda aim. And then hit the A button to go as fast as you can. And it is timed, so you have to do it all within like 15 seconds or so. Or 20 seconds. Okay, now I don't even see the fish. Where are you? Oh, there it is right there. There we go. We got it. So basically, we just speared the fish. We didn't kill it. It's still swimming around, but we took the honeycomb from inside it. And there's a warp pad. which we will probably never use again, but, you know, it's there, so we'll hit it. Okay, this fish, we have to use grenade eggs to shoot its teeth. Sometime today, it's easier if you get right in front of it. Yeah, I'm wasting all my grenade eggs. I haven't even hit a single tooth yet. Unbelievable. There we go. Yeesh. All right, now we've got to swim in front of it. Swim in front of it. There's another cave down the bottom. We're going to have to go exploring down there. But first we are going inside the fish. You heard me inside the fish. And there's already pirates living in here. What a terrible place to have to live. 
Okay, who's this now? You must be the rescue party. If the price is right. Mary Maggie, that's Jolly Roger's partner. The one he wouldn't give us a ginger beer because he was so depressed. Because she got eaten by a big fish. And she won't give us a jiggy. Now we have to go back and see Jolly again. So she could have got out by herself the whole time. But Banjo and Kazooie had a reminder that she could just swim out. So we assume that's what she's doing right now. Okay, and before we leave, I hear a Jinjo. There is another passageway inside the big fish. And we got another Jinjo. Okay, thank goodness that's finished. Let's go explore that cave down the bottom. See what I mean about this level? It takes forever to get where you want to go. Never mind, we'll go back to Atlantis again. With the war pad I said we'd probably never use. Oh, uh, we'll go see Jolly. We can get our jiggy. He would have given it to us later, but you know what? I want it now, so he doesn't forget about it. Now he wants to give us a ginger beer. No, we got work to do. Okay, let's go check out the back room that we blew a hole in the wall. It is going to lead us to Smuggler's Cavern. There's a Jiggy right there. But once again, we cannot get it because we need to learn a move. What do we got here? We got an invisible fish with the Cheeto page. Oh, got it the first time. Nice. And there's also a rock down here with Kazooie's picture on it somewhere. Somewhere, there it is. That's a pipe. Come on, Kazooie, you can do it. Got it. Now we need to find that pipe. Okay, there it is. I need ice eggs. Because we are going to see some fan blades. Okay, water supply, Grunty Industries. Why are we going through a pipe to Grunty Industries when we haven't even opened Grunty Industries yet? tell you why because this game as you go all over the place now does that ginger count for grunty industries or does it count for uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon I think it counts for grunty Industries. so even though we haven't even entered it yet we've already got one ginger
Okay. That's all we can do right now. Until we learn how to glide so we can get that jiggy up there on that little pedestal. So we need to wait to get that jiggy. We still haven't got the little pigs jiggy yet because they need a uh, they need an item that's going to cool down their water. So we get that in an, a later level. And like I said, I don't want to fight the boss yet because I want double eggs in my honey back move because. Uh, I don't want to have to do it 15 times. And it's a lot easier when you've got 50 eggs. Okay, let's go open the spaceship. It's easier when you've got 50 grenade eggs. Okay, we are going in a spaceship. Exciting, exciting. Aliens. Let's go talk to one of the aliens. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Hey, wait a minute. They said you have to phone home, and he said, no, we have a cell phone for that. I didn't even think they had cell phones in the year 2000. But like I said, this is a uh, remake of the original for the Xbox that came out in 2008 or 2009, somewhere around there. Okay, we need to power up the spaceship by shooting ice eggs somehow into the crystal holes within however many seconds it gave us. We made it with three seconds to spare. And now they want to kick us out. Because they're late for dinner. How about a jiggy? We landed on a shiny thing, you may have that. Now go. Okay, we're going. Main drive engaged, activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights are on, all systems are go. Let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. Could he be talking about Freezeezy Peak? Because I haven't seen any snowy mountains in this game. Okay, they landed on a jiggy. Where is it? There it is, right there. Another jiggy in the backpack. And instead of going back down to Atlantis, we are swimming up. Because it's a lot faster to swim up and run to that warp pad than it is to swim all the way down and go past the octopus again. Okay, so um... We still haven't seen Humba Wumba yet. And we still have not gotten that jiggy that's in that invisible fish in Atlantis. So, let's go take care of business. Back to Atlantis. And there's my jiggy fish. No. Do it like a professional gamer that has a clue. Nope, missed. Come on, you still got 12 seconds left. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nope, missed. 
Come on, Kazooie, you can do it. <laughs> Missed again. It is so hard to control this thing. You line it up, but as soon as you hit the A button to start going faster, it messes up your finger on the uh, control stick. But here I am whining again. Put your whining and get her done. There we go. Was that hard? Yes, it was. Okay, let's go find Humble Wumba. I saw a purple cavern over here. Oh, never mind, we'll go to the sunken ship first. Forgot all about the sunken ship. There's another pipe down here we have to explore. Stop trying to eat me. Okay, get to work, Kazooie. I see a Kazooie pipe. And I see a box with a ginger on it. Probably could have hit that with a grenade egg, but... Ellen Torpedo works. Alright, let's go get our Jinjo first. And we've got 13 ice eggs left. That should be enough. Okay, into another pipe. And we are back to... Litter Gulch Mine? Oh. I don't know if you remember, but the first place we went in Glitter Gulch Mine was the water storage area. And I told you there was a Jinjo up on top of one of the tanks that we couldn't reach. Well, we are going to reach it right now. And that means Glitter Gulch Mine, the only thing we'll have left... one jiggy that we couldn't get before. Here's our ginger. We'll wait for some ice eggs. And now we can make it back by climbing this chain. And now we gotta backtrack. not the right way. There, that's the exit we're looking for. And there's a warp pad on top of the ship. Back to Atlantis. Now nah, we gotta go see Humba Wumba. And 
she is in the tunnel that has a purple bunch of purple rocks at the entrance so you can kind of remember because I don't think there's a warp pad in this one Alright, Humbo, what do you got for us? That's better. Hey, we're a submarine. Alright, that's cool. Okay, and like I said, I don't think there's a warp pad, so we gotta make our way back to Atlantis. And we have got to warp to the sea bottom. Because we are going to fight Gruntilda. Come on, get onto the warp pad. You can do it. There you go. Locker's Cavern. And within Locker's Cavern, not only is the boss here, the boss is in Davy Jones's locker, we'll find that later. But there's another... Another cavern way down the bottom. And it's another shooting game where we got to shoot these mines. And again, reds are one, blues are three, greens are two. And if you try to swim down here, it says the pressure is too much. You need to get down here another way. And that's why we need the submarine, because the pressure is too high for Banjo and Kazooie to just swim down here. Okay, I'll start off by just shooting. Get as many as I can, and then I will start moving around. I'm going for the greens and the blue ones. And the occasional red if they happen to be right in front of me. And we should get a nice enough score to get us whatever we were supposed to get. What was it, 50 points? We've already got 51, so we're good to go. Uh-oh, we blew up. Okay, now she's not just going to give me the jig. You see it's on top of a little pedestal. But it's not on top of the pedestal. Where is it? not on top of this pedestal. It's not on top of that pedestal. And that's not even, that one doesn't even have a top. Come on, Grunty, quit messing with me. Where, why couldn't you just give me the jiggy? You had to hide it. Nope, not there. Let's get a better view. Still got nothing. Let's go around the corner. Maybe there's another pedestal hidden on the floor. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Alright, let's get out of here. No, we do not want to play again. Matter of fact, we are going to exit and not even go back and see Humba again because that's as many jiggies as we can get. Let's see what we got here. We got six out of ten, so we still got to come back later for four. We got another Cheeto page, and we've got everything else. So we will come back later. But thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed it. 
I will see you next time for Terry Dactyland. Until then, have a good day. Bye-bye.